everybody we are back it is tape don't lie it is the carfax number nine it's week 10 but it's carfax nine you guys already know what to do subscribe 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 if this is your first time here hit the like button if you like it hit the dislike button if you don't like it leave a comment if you like it, leave a comment if you dislike it, right? We like all engagements. Make sure you head to manscaped.com, discount code TDL. And go ahead and get you a shirt. Check the link below. Get ready for uh, for the TDL blackout. But this week, we're going to go over the Chiefs game. That was just ugly execution, bad decisions, you know, the basically just everything that you could think of. I mean, the Chiefs basically changed all their tendencies, and we're going to talk about that a lot, too about how they basically caught the Raiders off guard, right? Just, just basically doing nothing. They did the, anything time before, but we're going to go over the third downs here, okay, right? So first, let's start on third downs, right? The Raiders struggled on third down. They are one for nine, but let's start with the first one. This is third and two, right? Now, the Chiefs coming into this game played 32% cover zero and cover one, all right? This game, they played 40% cover two, so they broke every tendency that you could think of. So you see here, they want to hit Hunter Renfro on the quick little screen. And Derek Carr thinks he has man to man. Because, like I said, the tendencies that they have, he thinks he has man to man here, right? So that's the key to this play. He believes his man. All right. So, and you can kind of see it when Hunter Renfro goes into motion, the linebacker, he goes with them, right? And based on that side, I mean, if it's man to man, I mean, that would, that would basically create a matchup between Hunter Renfro and the linebacker, right? I still think maybe Derek Carr could have changed this play. He got a cool old empty box you know two yards maybe get a good run there but you know you expect a man to man you expect the hunter brinford to be wide open now that corner stays so even if if it's not man to man i mean that corner is still the outside corner he's gonna stay right there right and Derek carr he's got a one-on-one -on -one with tyron matthew but he thinks it's man to man so he thinks he has josh jacobs wide open because he thinks sneed is gonna go with waller he doesn't raiders I mean, they actually to go for it and then a false start and then they punt, but Raiders punt. All right. And this is, you know, this is what I'm talking about. I mean, the Raiders did adjust to these plays. You see, this is basically the same exact play, right? Do the, the pump fake this time now to the screen. And instead of missing Edwards, we hit Edwards up on the top with the same route. And we get 27. Right. So you can tell the Raiders have been adjusting, you know, that they're looking at those Microsoft surfaces, get, getting ready for, you know, the, the next play and trying to figure out what the what the team is trying to do to them. So you can see the Raiders are adjusting better. Right. They are adjusting better than they used to. So this is the second third down of the game. All right. So this is third. Right. Third and six. Right. So we got a uh, choice, shallow, big po post versus cover two. All right. So that's choice. Sorry. Choice shallow big post first cover two right so you're to see it you got the big post to sean jackson this play used to be run with hungry rugs and we got hunter Riffer on the uh darren waller on the choice route hunter Riffer on the shallow but i want you guys to watch tyron matthew here okay right tyron matthew he knows what's coming so he's got the shallow right he's gonna act like he's guarding the shallow you know Derek carr is gonna try to use his eyes with tyron matthew to move him to the shallow to open up for darren waller but you know, Tyron Matthew knows that the choice route's coming. He knows he's got uh, outside leverage with his corner, so he has to come inside right to him. So he's baiting him, right? Derek Carr could have threw it. I mean, I I've seen some people say that he should have threw this ball. No, don't throw that ball, Derek. <laughs> that's a pick six, right? Because that's Tyron Matthew. Check it down. It is what it is. I mean, like I said, the Chiefs were just prepared for the Raiders. I mean, everything that they were ready to uh, the Raiders ready to do early on the chiefs had an answer and they were prepared and they basically had tyron matthew be a darren waller eraser okay so you see i mean he's just watching whatever wherever darren waller went that's where tyron matthew was going so right so you see watch him here from the back end you really can see it you see where his feet are he's ready to drive on that football he's got a good base he's ready to plant and he can transition and just take it take that back for six and it would have been an ugly 14 to zero start so Derek carter check down it is what it is on those type of plays. It happens, right? So we got Peel here. Peel versus Green 2. Okay, so we got Peel versus Green 2. Green 2 is a different type of cover 2. Way, uh, the corners are dropping way more than they usually do with cover 2 type of coverage, right? 
So there's a, some big drops, and you see by the design, I mean, it kind of sets up for Darren Waller to be wide open here on the post wheel, right? Because Peel is post wheel, okay? So let's go ahead and run this. All right, so you see the chip and the flat from Hunter Renfro, but first, let's look at that legal contact. We got a, we're got we doing press coverage eight yards downfield now, I guess. And then uh, you see the corner is going to have to watch the flat. He has to stay with the flat. I mean, it's cover two. He's going to have to watch it. He can't, I mean, it puts him in a bind here. He can keep dropping, then Derek Carr is going to throw it right to the flat, right? So he, he has to stay honest here, right? And then the wheel gets him, and he's about to be wide open, Darren Waller. Would have been a touchdown. Something. I don't know. Big play. I don't know if it would been a touchdown, but it definitely would have been a big play because he would have been wide open. And John Simpson can't hold his block here. He gets beat inside by Reed. Real easy. Touchdown. No, sorry. Sack. Why did I say touchdown? Sack. I mean, because maybe because it's supposed to be a touchdown. That's why, that's why I said it. All right. So, this, uh, you know, Greg Olson, is, they're playing cover two. So he's going to run my uh, one of my plays that I hate. This is Hank. All right. JT O'Sullivan says that you're not trying to win. You play Hank. But he's, you're playing cover two. I mean, you see where Jay Jones is going to go. If they were playing cover two, it would be a good call. But they're not. They're playing cover one this time. Right? So now they're showing cover two. And they're going to play cover one against Hank. And, you know, Derek Carr, he wants to throw to his boy Zay Jones over here. And, you know, Zay Jones gets mugged here. Definitely. He definitely gets mugged. And the guy basically pulls him into him so he can knock the pass down. Right? But Darren Waller's open. You know, maybe just throw to Waller instead. Instead of throw it to Zay Jones. Maybe Waller doesn't get pulled back and can get enough separation like he did right there. But, you know, that's uh, Carr's boy, I guess. So we're throwing to Zay Jones. <sighs> you know? You know, that I don't like Hank. I think Hank is a, a dumb play. I, I, I mean, you kind of can you kind of can see why. But, I mean, Darren Waller is open, too. So there, there's, there's kind of, uh, you know, and there's a hold. So, I mean, a couple, you know, it's just, it's just it's frustrating. All right, here we go. So this one's super frustrating. This is the, the chuck up in the air. That's what I call it. I, I call it the Derek Carr heave. Uh, so here we go. We got a good, we got a seam, right? They're double teaming Darren Waller with Tyron Matthew all game. So, you know, Matthew's going to bite on that comeback. We got a seam, right? Sorensen, he's going to roll back. They're playing cover two again, right? And you stop it right here, okay? You see, they're, they're double teaming. They're all over Darren Waller, say Jones. He's running open because, you know, Sorensen, he has to respect the go route with Edwards. And he's he's crossing Thornhill. So if Carr could have planted and threw this ball on time, that's a, that could be a big play. He could drive that football. But there's pressure. And then he just doesn't check it down. Just check it down to Jacobs, man. Just throw it to Jacobs. That's all you got to do, man. I mean, maybe Jacobs breaks that tackle. Maybe he doesn't. But then, um, then, then you're not viral on Twitter and everybody's mad, you know. You got to think these things. And then you get to chuck it up in the air here to uh, Zay Jones. And then Brian Edwards is like watching it. I don't know what the hell he's doing. And then Zay Jones, I mean, he's right there. That's where the ball lands. I mean, Zay Jones just doesn't move too much. He just kind of tracks the ball, all right? I mean, maybe, you know, I don't know. But uh, uh yeah, here comes Zay. He overruns it. So, <laughs> see, I mean, you just don't. You, this, is, this is the biggest sign that you should never throw him the ball again. There you go. Here's your sign. It's on tape. It's on film. I and Scott don't lie. Tape don't lie, right? There's your tape. Don't lie. Stop throwing the ball to Zay Jones. I don't know. Just, you guys let me know. Let me know how you guys feel in the comments. I, I mean, have you seen? I mean, it's been two weeks. You know, I, I mean, I did cover the little other Zay Jones pick, but I covered it into Tape Don't Lie review episode. I mean, it hasn't been a lot of good things. It hasn't been a lot of good throws to Zay Jones. A lot of picks. <laughs> it hasn't been a lot of good plays. Let's, uh, let's, let's stop throwing him the football. All right, here we go. So, green two again. This is third down again, right? Another third down. The Rays are one for nine. They're showing whatever they're showing. I mean, I'm sure Derek Carr is not fooling right now. They're playing cover two, right? They're, they're, this is fourth quarter. They got to dig and go here against the cover two, though. Okay? So the, the dig is going to come at that safety, and then it's going to be a go. Right? Brian Evers is about to be wide open. It's a great play call on third down. They're blitzing. Carr has no time. And then you see Brian Edwards is running wide open. And Derek Carr, he tries to throw it anyway. He, like he's just, you know, I'm, I'm gonna, you know, he, I, you know, I guess, you know, I don't know what he's trying to do. <laughs> he's trying to throw a touchdown, throw a, throw a seventy-yard touchdown, falling backwards. Uh, yeah, but you know, 
uh, it's got it's frustrating watching that, seeing how open Brian Edwards was, and uh, it was a great play call, and especially when Derek Carr calls out the blitz here. You see him point, calls it out. Nobody still picks it up. Nobody picks it up anyways. It was just ugly, man. Ugly third downs. Ugly, ugly stuff. All right. But there was some good, all right? There's, there's, let's end this with positivity here, all right? So we got Yankee versus cover one. So one of the times they played cover one was on this play, right? Uh, so, I mean, the Raiders were able to get a good look on this play, especially, you know, Deshaun Jackson. He does make a, a very good presence on this on on, the, on a lot of these plays, and you'll see it, especially on this one, how he opens up the underneath for Zay Jones here on the on the Yankee concept, right? So play action, Yankee concept, cover one. All right, so here we go. Cover one, right? This is in the blitz. Good pickup, good step up from Derek Carr. Great throw. You see how Deshaun Jackson opened that up for him. It was a good play, right? And Tyron Matthews like, why aren't you not? Why are we calling playing cover two? You see Tyron Matthew all mad. Why are we playing cover two? I don't know, Tyron. That's what happens. All right, so we got cover one. <laughs> and uh, yeah, you see, watch, you know, good step up from Carr, right? Step up in the pocket. Good, good mechanics here. You know, feet pointed towards the target. Right, and throw it right on the money. That's how that's how it works. So that's uh that's playing quarterback right there. You get the good mechanics, throw it on the money. All right, and, and this is probably uh I, I think this is Derek Carr's best throw of the year, uh, in my opinion. I, I know the Henry Ruggs is uh the one that Henry Ruggs is up there, but um I'm going with this one so far. I mean, this, this one's pretty crazy. So this is a fake wide receiver screen here. Okay, we got a fake wide receiver screen against cover two and you know i talked about this this could be four verts off it though right and you know they've been playing cover two they bid on the screen earlier right and you saw how brian edwards was open behind it so we're gonna do something a little different this time we're gonna have brian edwards on a go route and we're also gonna flood the play side of the cover two right so it's gonna put them all in a bind so this is a great play design okay this is great play design puts the whole coverage in a bind and, you know, the Raiders are really starting to figure it out. And it just, it just got away from them. This is kind of the frustrating part here. So, you see, this is a great throw from Derek. Look out, look at the anticipation on this one. He's throwing the football already. Edwards is not even out of his break. Not even, not even, he's not even past the linebacker. I mean, he, is he, he's not even open. Derek Hart throws him open. Touchdown. It's just, it's just a great throw. Great throw right there. And it's a great call. You know what I mean? Like, they really started attacking the cover two really, really well. And you saw them adjust, which, I mean, we don't see a lot. We haven't seen a lot from the Raiders. We saw some great adjustments. I mean, we saw great adjustments last week against the Giants, too. But you see Carr, great mechanics. Look at that base straight line. I mean, that's like it's like it's quarterback coach tape right there. And that's how you throw a perfect ball with anticipation. You got to have mechanics like that. I mean, that's, that's what Derek Carr... He gets in the hero ball, and he's fading behind, and he's trying to do fadeaways. I mean, you're going to miss people. All right, so here we go. Once again, play action Yankee again versus green two. I'm telling you guys, they, I mean, they, they basically just started yanking them to death. I mean, all right, we're just going to run a lot of Yankee. We're going to hit you some digs, and then we're going to do some condensed formations, get some one-on-ones with these safeties. So we got play action Yankee versus green two, and uh, we're going to hit Brian Edwards on this one with Zay running the post route. Okay, so... Here we go. You see them backing up a little bit. I want you guys to notice how Tyron Matthews back there because Darren Waller's not in. All right. Also, the linebackers are coming up. All right. The linebackers are coming up. Opens this play up. Good anticipation for the dig behind the linebackers. See, Edwards doesn't even have his head turned around yet when Derek Carr's throwing this football. Right on the money. Well, not right on the money, but a little, a little bit behind. But it was good throw. Good throw. Good enough. Got some yak. Got some good play. You know, got you got to like it. You got to like it. It's with the play action. Bite them to linebackers. But once again, Darren Waller's not in the game. Look where Tyron Matthew is. Look at Tyron Matthew. Darren, no Darren Waller in the game. So that kind of shows you where Darren Waller was in getting all those targets. But it's another gate. Great mechanics here from Derek Carr. Right there, and I mean that's that's what you, you need. Once he gets that time, he can set his feet. You know, it's uh, it it, it could be uh, it could be some good stuff. So we got here so a play action Yankee versus Green two. We're gonna end it on a sad note. I, I said I was gonna do some positivity, but we're ending it on we're ending it on a sad note because this is the Sean Jackson play. All right, guys. So uh, get get prepared to be depressed here. So we got play action Yankee 
versus green two. All right, and this is out of 13 personnel. So this is a great call because we got 13. We got three linebackers, three tight ends out, out here, right? And everybody pays attention to Darren Waller against the, against the Yankee. And it opens everything up, puts a one-on-one -on -one with the linebacker. Sorry, not the linebacker. One-on-one -on -one with Tyron Matthew for Deshaun Jackson. Okay. Derek Carr, he's going to throw this like a dig route. He throws a 30-yard bullet. Right? It's not like a fade. Okay. So he's like throwing a 30-yard bullet right there. He's throwing it early. And he's th throwing Jackson open again right to the 30. He's throwing to the 30. Right? That's his plan. He's, th th he's throwing Jackson open here. See Jackson slow down. Catch it. Right? Just like as a dig. <laughs> and I, you know, a lot of people were saying that he couldn't run this in, but he definitely could have tried to at least get to the corner. I mean, he has the angle to, to, to get to the corner. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, you know, I don't know. Maybe that guy, you know, it's tough. I mean, he could have made it a lot harder for him to get tackled. Let's just say that. All right. All right, guys. Well, that's the Carfax. It's ugly. The you know, execution. I mean, the Chiefs just, they were ready for the Raiders. And the Raiders have to be ready for teams to be ready for them. It's week 10. You know, week 11. That's the difference in November, December. Teams are ready for you. And you got to be prepared for it. I'm out.